Dallas ISD may require students to all use clear backpacks. They're hoping that would improve safety. Brandon is live to explain how it might work. Yeah, good morning and schools uh, right behind me, just like Woodrow Wilson High School already have backpack policies in place, so no clear uh, or actually only clear or mesh backpacks are allowed here on campus. Now a district spokesperson told me this morning that here in the next few hours, parents of DISD students will be getting a bulletin about this proposed backpack rule. There will be a series of opportunities for those parents to give their feedback on the clear backpack mandate. Now the new guidelines were proposed and posted really online, but accidentally and then removed from the district's website yesterday. Schools across the state are looking at best practices when it comes to school districts in the wake of uh, the mass shooting at Uvalde Elementary School in May, taking a closer look at security. But Robin Harris with DISD tells me this is something that the district has been considering for a while now, even before the Uvalde shooting. It was already a recommendation by a school safety task force a while back that included community members. The new backpack rule, by the way, would require clear backpacks, not mesh, across all schools. But inside the clear backpack, students would be able to carry non-clear small makeup or pencil pouches. There are already some schools within the district that require clear or mesh backpacks. The district would also require require those clear bags for entry into athletic events. And according to the district, the uh, deleted recommendation had already, uh, or according to the recommendation, the district has already purchased uh, these backpacks and would be distributing them to students at the beginning of the school year. Now, this is not something that would be voted on by the school board. So this is not something that will come uh, in a meeting there. This is something rather that would be decided by the superintendent and the district administration. And again, it is something that is only proposed at this point. They hope to have it in place by the beginning of the school year. Live in Dallas, Brandon Todd for Good Day.